In this video, I'm going to show you a way to run a sample, charades, or acting type of vocabulary activity. In the first one, I'm going to demo for you a teacher-centered version. After that, I'm going to explain to you two alternatives where it's group-centered or individual-centered. The first thing I'm going to do is probably review the words if the students have them in the back of their mind. If I think the students are pretty good about the words, maybe I won't review them and we'll jump right to the activity. It's just going to depend on those vocabulary words. In this demo, I'm going to use the phrasal verbs from your Chapter 6 reading. Because you're working with second language speakers, it's very important that you know that they understand the directions to an activity before you begin on it. Make sure you do any needed comprehension checks or have the students repeat the directions back to you before you begin. Okay, are you guys ready for our game? Remember, you're going to watch me first and you're not going to yell the answer. Let everyone think, okay? After you can say it, so just write it down. Are you ready? This is from chapter three, okay? After this, I will begin acting out the vocabulary words one at a time. Even if I'm going to have my students act out later in pairs or groups, I like to go first to show them that I too am um, excited and willing to, shall we say, act a little silly in front of the class. I feel like this motivates them and um, encourages them to also do that. Think about it. Think about it. Ugh. Write it down, okay? Don't say anything. Number two. Having the students write down the answers rather than shout them out in class allows my shyer or perhaps slower students a chance to think about the vocabulary words for themselves. As you can see, some of these vocabulary words are quite challenging. Let's see if you can guess this next one. Number two. We ready? It's my form. The answer was fill out, such as fill out a form or fill out a worksheet. With phrasal verbs, many times you're going to have multiple meanings, which means you can act out in a variety of different ways. Okay, that was number two. Number three. In the final stage of this activity, stage five, I'm going to put the students into pairs or small groups and have them share their answers with their classmates. After I've given them some time to do that, I'm going to call on them and write their answers on the board and we'll go over it together as a class. As a follow-up to that first activity, or in lieu of that activity, I want to give you two alternative formats. Alternative format number one would be to do a group-centered activity. One way you could do that would be to place the class into small groups of two to four people, give each group a different vocabulary word or words from the classmates, and let them decide as a group how they will act out that vocabulary word. You can allow speaking or not. It's up to you. After they've talked about in their group how they're going to act it out, they get in front of the room and they act and all the class guesses um, what vocabulary words they're acting out. And the final alternative would be what I call individually centered, which is very similar to a vocabulary activity I explained in another video. In essence, you would place the students into small groups, perhaps three to four people, and you could place a pile of the vocabulary words in the middle of that group and have them individually one by one act out the vocabulary words and they try to get their classmates to guess. So these are just some fun activities that um, get your students up and moving around the room and hopefully try to connect the movement and help gain retention with these vocabularies. Thank you.